is a Euroline bus to Prague. Well, it's 7 o'clock. What time is it? 7.30? Um, what day is this? Thursday. We just caught the bus to Prague. And we're leaving Frankfurt. Beautiful day. It should be a nice day for a ride. There's our walk in the park. We So we're going east to Eastern Europe. little villages we're clipping along clipping along there's uh, windmills Looks like they get a windmill sir big windmills Ninety-four to Nuremberg. Sixty miles. Speed limit is about one hundred and twenty kilometers an hour. It's about seventy-five miles an hour. I think it's going faster than that. Though. We we had an accident. Uh, we, we had a tie-up on the about ten minutes ago. It was this big accident. Somebody was on fire. The pavement was all burnt. The guardrail was wrecked. So that held us up for a bit. Yeah, we were stopped for what? 45 minutes? So now I think he's trying to make it up. So we'll be the next accident. Yeah, we'll be the next accident. Yeah, there, there's some cute little villages along the way. It's all agricultural land. This is all grapevines. Rivers, grapevines, farm fields. Very pleasant. Okay, we just crossed over to Czechoslo uh, Czech Republic, and here's a little town, farmland. What's that yellow crop? I think it's grapeseed. They make something like canola oil with it. I mean, they make oil. So, our second country so far. Two countries in four days. 
Switzerland, yeah, four countries. That's pretty good. We're about oh an hour and a half away from Prague. They do a lot of hunting around here, I guess. Just little hunting stands all over. Where? Oh, let me see if I can zoom in on that. Oh, I can't see. I don't think I got it. solar arrays. Farmers get to pass the land, they put down the solar arrays and makes money off the electricity. Here we are in Prague. Yes we did, we made it, we made it. Bus ride was fine. You can see the architecture is a little different. Yeah, streets are a little grittier, not as tidy as Germany. But it's got, you know, that neighborhood feel to it. We were just talking about the architecture in the city. Coming in, we saw all kinds of different architectures, churches, monuments, what have you, castles. It's like... Uh, architectural paradise if you're into that kind of thing so we're on yeah it is it's uh, it's hillier than Frankfurt Frankfurt's on flat land Yeah, the, yeah, you got the, the main city is looks like it's got hills right along the main river. Uh, that should be interesting to explore for sure. Anyway, we're ma making our way to the hotel. 
It's about a mile from here, so it's not too bad. Then we'll see what kind of neighborhood we were in. We're walking in the sun. You can see by our shadows. We have backpacks on. So, <laughs> we're not used to walking with our backpacks. It's been a while. But it's the best way to travel, really, because pulling those wheeled carts over these cobblestones for miles on end there's a pain in the neck. How did that look? That was very cool. <laughs> Patricia saw the, the first Prague Cafe. Actually it was a little bar. Restaurant. Little bar restaurant. And what? Game. Rabbit. Oh, rabbit. Specialize in game. Rabbits and what have you. It's, uh, it's kind of hot hiking in the sun. Hopefully we'll get some shade up further. we got to find a little spot to get a bottle of water. This is it. Oh, butcher shop. Oh, okay. We could go in, but we gotta get going. We just need a bottle of water. Uh huh. Well, we're almost to the hotel. That wasn't bad. Actually, it's, it's good to walk. We need to exercise to, to uh, work off the pork rinds. The lilacs are gorgeous. Nice residential district. The place is full of lilacs. We noticed that coming in. And you can really smell them here. It's got a nice little park. Wow. Smell those lilacs? Yeah, this is uh, residential. Very nice. Well, folks, we finally got our mug of beer. Check. Check Thanks. beer. This is called Gambinas. Gambinas beer. Gambinas, as near as we can figure, a these... half a liter costs a dollar and a quarter. Yes. Two of these were, two of these were like two fifty for two. Unless I got my money all screwed up. And they're actually $12. They're, they're twice, right. No, as I I looked it up, there's 20 kronas to the dollar. And these were 25 kronas each. So that's a dollar, a dollar and a quarter. Cute little place. We just—it's not far from the from the hotel either. Right on the main street. Very authentic. Very authentic. I'm trying to learn a few words off the menu. Right. I ordered hopefully chicken and rice. Patricia got something. Something. You got some kind of steak, didn't you? I think it's pork steak. Pork steak. Pork neck. 
with uh, with bacon. I think it's. Uh, Needless to say, we're going to change our diet habits very quickly. But first, you know, when you get here, you have to sample all the cuisine. But once we get into apartments and stuff, we're going to be doing our own cooking. Right? Because I, I really miss a salad. They don't have big salads over here. But they have, do have a lot of um, little bodegas with plenty of fruit and vegetables. So once we get situated in the apartment, we could go out and do some shopping. Yeah, it'll be good. Cool. Plenty of time to maybe walk to one day. Ah, this beer is excellent. Nice light feel. I don't know if it's light. You know, it's kind of um, it, the flavor is not heavy. It no, tastes it's like not beer. Happy. It tastes like nice beer. Yeah. Is what it tastes, tastes like. like. It tastes like what beer is supposed to taste like. Yeah, beer's, it's very beer's fresh. It's not supposed to taste like Budweiser. It's just not. No, it's like, I don't know, it's very clean. It has, it's got a clean it has taste a nice, to it. It's fresh, sort of bright flavor. Yeah, it does. It's not, uh, it has a balance. It's a, it's a I guess, closer, so it has a balance to it. It doesn't have. Any strong flavors coming through, like hops or citrus, no. or things you might see, like a wheat beer or a Belgian beer with more kind of spices to it. No, it's it's got like a, it's almost you could call it a, a dinner beer or something that you would want you this know is, to drink all the time with dinner. This is Pilsner. It's Pilsner. Pilsner Urkel. Like, like the Budweiser of Petal's Pockets. That's the beer that's the biggest brand. That's it, this, so what is this? Then? This is Gamber. This is Gam, Gambinus, which is the cheaper beer on the menu. The cheap beer on the menu. But how bad can it be? <laughs> You're going to spend another quarter to get something else. Well, we could, we'll, we'll try the more expensive beer. Maybe that costs $2. We could try that. But this is, I mean, it's great. And everyone, each beer has its own glass. So if you order a certain kind of beer, it's got the name of the beer on the glass itself. Which is kind of neat. I suppose the distributors just give the bars all the all the glasses they want. Ah, it does taste so good. Maybe it's because we were walking all day too. Not all day. But we were sitting on we, the bus all day. We were, we were, and then we walked up the hill. We walked up the hill and it like, we walked for an hour. <laughs> no, it was it was really nothing. It was only like, what, 30 minutes walk? Maybe we walked for 40 minutes, maybe. We were kind of slow. Yeah, I know. It was uphill. Actually. It was uphill. But it was really, we needed it. It was really good for us. I'm trying to do more of that. You know, normally I wouldn't say the Vietnamese restaurant, but the little Vietnamese place might be a good choice. Which one? Across the street. Yeah, sure. Well, we're going to be here for 11 days. 11 days. So we, we could try that. This is Thursday. We've got Friday, Saturday, Sunday in this neighborhood. Well, you know, the apartment neighborhood is only right up the road. Well, it's still not that I thought you said 
But tell me again where, where you think it is. Remember when we walked up the hill the from the light? bus station to the first light? And we turned left. And we turned left. Yeah. Well, if you keep going straight... You don't turn left. You don't turn left. You just keep going up the hill. Yeah. There's a big, giant radio tower, the highest place in Prague. Yeah. And the apartment is a couple streets. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's like four or five blocks. There's a big park there. We're four or five blocks towards us or away from us? Towards us. Well, oh, that's about where we are. No. We, we came... We walked for a half hour from that point. But so we walked maybe <laughs> ten blocks. <laughs> yeah, so this, I'm talking about smaller blocks. I mean, it's not far. Well, that's what I say, it's not far. I would say it's about one quarter of the way. Oh, we could, we we could figure it out tomorrow. Yeah, we'll get it, no problem. Okay, here's what Patricia ordered. I don't know. I don't know what it was, but it's a pork chop with an it's egg. It's got an egg on top of it. It's got an egg and a pork that looks it, and it with looks bacon. Beautiful. Wait a minute. <laughs> Lift the. It's a breakfast on top of dinner. <laughs> take, that, take that egg up. Look, there's a big slab of bacon under there. And a pork chop. Oh my god. You got a dinner and they decided to give you breakfast at the same time. <laughs> and you have chicken and rice. You and really here's love my it. chicken and rice. It's love it. chicken breast with rice and a mushroom sauce. Oh, we we made a big mistake. We we're supposed to share. We forgot about doing that. Anyway. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, that's unbelievable. We'll have to take some home.